Good morning. Here we go. This is one of my faces. I put on another face today. I'm going makeup. Look, <laughs> that's different, isn't it? Um, that's that's the face that that's an easy one to do with just my easy three uh, chain and uh, slip stitch method that that makes faces. And here we can see the same thing. Um, another face of mine this morning. You can't see all of this, but we'll just pop it in like this and show you one or two bits of it. And uh, there we go. So that's my other face. I'll pop that to one side. Um, and that one you can add to it. You can do the basic face like this. And then after that, you would need to put on all the the hair and you might put flowers on but this part of it is all just chain and slip stitch and that's in my book and you can find how to do it in there it's not a pattern people are buying the book thinking oh we've got a pattern that we can follow it's a way to design your own face so um where am i this morning I i'm going to make myself um my work in progress is a cardigan and all the bits of um quite large pieces samples that I've been doing it, uh, over the years are stuck in drawers or I put them up on it for my exhibition or whatever so but I'm going to now try and make something into a cardigan so we'll see how that one works out um here is um an easy way to do a, a, a cardigan I, I found it on 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 youtube if you look on youtube there's all sorts of things you can find how, how to find how to do that. I looked on there how to make an easy cardigan and uh, it starts just with the welt at the bottom and you can make a welt like this with uh, an easy stitch and it just looks like a, a rib, doesn't it? Here. And it's done with crochet. It looks like a knitted rib, really. And the way you do that is it's worked with um, a half treble, which is easy to do with a latch up. Is a half treble I'll show you in a minute and then you work into the back loops um, it's a little bit slower than doing working into the, to the um, the top of a crochet, a crochet because you've got to find the back loop but you get used to it and and uh, I think it's worth doing it's a, a really nice welt so I've got two of these going one to go across the bottom and the other one that you start you start doing it so that it's it's this part it's this part of your of your welt and it goes all the way around your neck and uh, so that's going to be on the cardigan going like that so i'm doing that as well at the same time i've got two going one one here and one here so that's what i'm doing um i might be able to look at sitting and doing that for a few minutes and then uh, these videos that I'm doing at the moment that you're watching, they are um, done on a with my uh, movie. Um, what is it? Um, iMovie. I you I do it on my iPad, and it's called iMovie. If anybody's got any suggestions of a good editing video um, app, or I I would. I would be interested i'm getting on quite well with the one i use the iMovie one so um i'm not too worried about changing on something else because of course every time you change onto a new app you've got new things to learn but um this one seems to work out because i can edit it and cross all the ums and errs and the things like that i can cross out if i want to but i just think oh if you can get used to me doing it Everybody hums and haws, don't they? And makes mistakes and says, oh, um, I can't remember the word for this or that. So uh, I'm not too worried about editing them too much. And uh, I spent quite a bit of time, let's say, doing these end cards or end, end something. I don't know, I have to find out what that is. Um, so that you can click on it. When when you go on, there's a... There's a, a my um, logo is like a circle of hearts and if you click on the circle of hearts you'll find that you can subscribe and subscribe you, i used to think you, it needs a subscription to subscribe i thought no i'm not going to pay any money to, to to watch this but uh, 
now over time I realise that if you press the subscribe button it simply brings up the videos that people put on for you so if you subscribe to me when I make a new video and I don't do them all that often although I'm going to try and do more if I can um, you will subscribe and the, my videos will pop up there on your screen or when you're online and you'll be able to, to watch them if you want to. So uh, that's the plan. And, and one of the reasons why I, I'm planning on doing this and, and doing more on my YouTube is because one lady just said to me only yesterday, um, I'm learning such a lot watching your videos. And I didn't know. I mean, I had no way of knowing, apart from how many people view them. And when you see how many people view them, when it comes part of the statistics, not necessarily watching the whole video, they're just looking at the first few seconds. And that comes down as having viewed it. So I don't know how many people view my videos and how many people are learning from them. But I would know if you comment. So... If you're interested and you're watching them, and like this lady said, I've watched, I've learned so much from your videos. If that's the case, then please comment and say what it is you're learning. Say, I liked this video or that video, and, and then I would get some feedback. I rarely get feedback, even though there's 55 videos on there. 56 now. So, there you go. And uh, I'm busy doing this well. I'm going to show you in a second how it works. Um, I count, <coughs> I, I quite often count 15 because there's 15, 16 including the, including the starter chain at the beginning. So what you do is you chain one and I chain one and then I turn my work. And from here, yarn over for a half treble. And then you pick up, you won't be able to see it, I doubt that you'll be able to see it on here. It's not a place to be showing you how to do the stitch. But you pick up the back loop, the single back loop, and then you pull through all three. And pulling through all three is a good one to do with your latch hook because it makes it quite quick. You just simply yarn over, hook in, pull up a loop and pull through all three. And, uh, and that's what I'm doing. I'll, I'll, I'll show this as close as I can, but I don't know if you're going to be able to see it. We'll see. That's what I'm doing. Oops, I'm off the screen when I'm doing it there. Try again. So, yarn over, hook in, pull up a loop. Yeah, hook in, yarn over, pull through three. Hook in, yarn over and pull through three. Hook in, yarn over, pull through three. And that's it. And I'll have a look later and see if that works out and keep it in if it does work out. So, um, yeah, a little bit about me this morning. <sighs> Spring morning. Earrings matching yellow. I found these. I don't wear them very often I, I tend to wear these I don't know about you but I tend to wear the ones where you can clip them on so that they don't fall off I, I, I've lost so many earrings just using these that hook in and these are a pair that hook in so I probably won't wear them all day because I, I know I'll just lose them so um, but they're okay for doing my videos so I think my, I might be wearing a few different ones you never know um, so I'm coming to the end of this line now and I may, might just leave it there, edit the video and see if I can pop it on YouTube. And so if you're watching this and it's the end of the video, subscribe, comment. Um, I think there's a bell somewhere that you can click, you can ring or click on. I don't know. It's not something I've uh, particularly done before. But I've noticed some people, when they come to the end of their videos, they're saying, subscribe, comment, and press the bell. What that's about, I don't know. So, bye for now. and see how this goes. Okay, um, we're back inside now. 
this is my kitchen. I just come through the door and we're going through into the lounge. It's quite bright in here. But I thought I'd start off by just going over the fact that um, I store all my yarns in these boxes and I've been doing a bit of crochet this morning, um, working on my work in progress. So that's where I've had my yarns there. And uh, another tip, if you're working in schools, of course, then how do you get all these bright colours and what you would need to do if you've got a class, maybe of 24 children, get them all to bring a different colour and then you've got 24 colours. So uh, that's quite a cheap way of, of getting all those colours. Then you, you might need um, a winding machine if you can't get the children to, to, to uh, wind off all those, those balls for you. So we're back in my lounge and I just wanted to show you, oh, there's a quick tip there. I use these bags that we get from the supermarket. They cost about 25 to 30 pence each. If you're in the UK, I'm not sure whether you get them in, in, the, uh, in other countries, but that's the ones I use and that's quite, I've got so many of them and I put my yarns in there as well. So I want to show you this picture here. This is, isn't a, it isn't a picture, it's actually crochet. Okay, so I've put it on the floor so you can see it better. I think the light's much, much better. This is a, a tapestry, really, a crocheted picture that my friend in the Philippines has made for me. Uh, that is supposed to be in the, in the centre there with a, a party horn and the children are coming to the party. That's my little caravan behind and you, and you can see it says Latchuk Party on the side. It's just the most amazing work. It, it's, it's, um, it's about two foot high and about two and a half foot long. So it's quite big. And the characters in, the, in this picture are beautiful. The little dog and cat playing with a ball of yarn. The faces on the two children on the left are just beautiful, the way they're concentrating on doing their latch hooking there. And the children waiting in the queue to go in the caravan. The, the, the first one there having a, a hand up into the caravan. The characters are beautiful. The little boy in the middle there with his hands in his pocket just waiting. I think it's just the most amazing piece of crochet and I'm really honoured to, uh, to have received this from my friend. Um, obviously she did it in aid of what I'm trying to do which is to involve children in crochet and get crochet art into schools. So that's something I wanted to share with you today and I'm just so proud of it. Okay. Hi again. I just thought I'd show you my book. This arrived this week and it's the only copy I have of it because it's just come out. This is the proof uh, copy so I can now send for the more books that I want to send for and it's on Amazon so if you want to go on there you can buy yourself a print copy of my book if you like you can buy the digital copy which is uh, an ebook download but you can see here um, it's all about how to make the face which we haven't covered entirely in in our videos but I have shown you how you can do two stitch crochet so that's something that you might want to look forward to doing. Um, you can see how it explains clearly how to make the face coming together there. Okay. Let's have a look and see if I can just show you. Yeah. So it uh, shows you how to make a, a, a design of your own. And that's the one I made. So they're very similar. And that one's much easier. So that's my book. You can uh, buy it on Amazon. Roslyn Hill. Crochet Art. Rethinking Crochet the Easy Way. So bye for now. Hi again. I just thought I'd show you my book. This arrived this week and it's the only copy I have of it because it's just come out. This is the proof uh, copy so I can now send for the more books that I want to send for. And it's on Amazon so if you want to go on there you can buy yourself a print copy of my book. Um, if you like you can have the, um, you can have the, if you like you can buy the digital copy which is uh, an ebook download. 
but you can see here um, it's all about how to make the face which we haven't covered entirely in in our videos but i have shown you how you can do two stitch crochet so that's something that you might want to look forward to doing um, you can see how it explains clearly how to make the face coming together there okay let's have a look and see if i can just show you yeah so it's uh shows you how to make a, a, a design of your own and that's the one I made so they're very similar and that one's much easier so that's my book you can uh, buy it on Amazon Roslyn Hill crochet art rethinking crochet the easy way so bye for now